All right, so we are back again. Let's get into this. Oh wait, we have to call, don't we? Yes. That was our plan. We were going to make we're, some phone calls. We're making calls. We can call oh, Bess. Okay. So obviously Savannah, which you probably wouldn't call her. Bess, if anyone has never played Nancy Drew games, is one of her best friends. Most likely when we call Bess, George will also be on the line. They normally are together. So normally you're always calling Bess, but you're getting both of them. There's usually a hint system in the games, but yeah. Yes, but you also have to talk to them sometimes to let Nancy figure stuff out that you might have figured out. It's a little weird. I'm not sure how much uses it in the newer games, but in the older games, you could not do stuff if you did not call Bess yeah. or George or um, Nancy's boyfriend. Or the Harvey boys. Or the Harvey boys. But right, but this time we only have Bess to talk to and probably George is with her. But we want to call Addison and see if maybe she's feeling better, if she'll talk to us. Yeah. So let's do that. We'll call her. Purple cat. Ah, kitty cat. Hello? Addison, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling to see if you can help me with something. Is this about Jessalyn? Yes. I can't. I'm sorry. The sooner we can find out what happened to her, the better her chances of survival. Okay. I'll help with what I can. So let me ask you a million questions. Okay. Oh boy, another episode of just well, here, talking to one person. Well, here. Oh, we'll talk through what happened that night. Can you walk me through what happened the night Jessalyn went missing? She was about to get married, and I think the pressure of it was getting to her. It was supposed to be a night of blowing off some steam. Jess always loved a good scare. She used to make me sneak into scary movies with her when we were kids. So, in a weird way, spending the night searching for a ghost sort of made sense for a bachelorette party. At first, it was really fun. We were running around trying to scare ourselves silly. We were making these recordings like we were on a ghost hunter show. Then, things got strange. Okay, so they were making recordings? Do you know where um, the recordings were? Secret passages or tunnels because of the one lady. She was weird. Um, yeah, is there anything that she might remember? Is there anything you remember that might help me find Jessalyn? No. Actually, wait. Hang on. Upstairs, uh, there was this door. Jess was desperate to get it open. Between you and me, I was relieved that she couldn't figure it out. Really? Why? I could feel eyes on me all night long. Okay. Yeah, so what were you guys doing at that night? What were you doing at Thornton Hall that night? A scavenger hunt, but I don't know. There was something strange about it. In what way? Jess was looking for something toward the end of the night. Kind of desperately. It stopped being fun. That's all I know. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so something on the list... Yeah. ...was what she really wanted to find. Um... Yeah, I think the bedroom key, the bedroom key was crossed out of the list. But they said that there was no more keys. That's weird. Um, yeah, The so... bedroom key is crossed out in the scavenger hunt. Do you know where it is? No. Jessalyn must have found it, but I couldn't tell you where it is. So the whole time she might be in that bedroom? Yeah, that's what it seems like. All right, so, well, how was she acting that night? That's a good one. How was Jessalyn acting that night? She was classic Jess for most of the night. Then something happened? Yeah. We were in the house and suddenly she just screams. And then she's nowhere to be found. What happened? Hmm. I was alone in the house, jumping at every noise, too afraid to move. It felt like hours. Then she came back. She wouldn't say what had happened. She wouldn't even talk to me. She wanted to be left alone. She went downstairs and that was that. Huh. Yeah, so things got strange let's ask about you said that. things got strange what did you mean it was her and me up in that freezing house and i remember thinking i'll never get to sleep but then i started to feel fuzzy 
fuzzy? Like I was underwater or something. And I noticed Jess was gone again. I wanted to get up and find her, but I, I couldn't move. It was like this invisible hand was pinning me down. I heard a strange voice. It wasn't Jess. Then it was the morning. I was alone and Jess was gone. Sounds more like she got drugged. Yeah. Um, so you heard a voice. You said you heard a voice. Charlotte. I'm sure of it. Did she say anything? She sang. I only heard a little bit. Okay. Yeah, are you... Do you believe Would in Would you paranormal? consider yourself a believer in the paranormal? If you'd asked that last week, I would have made some crack about Bigfoot. And now? And now I'm going to say that I don't believe. Because I'm afraid if I let myself believe, I'll be opening a door that no one can close. Oh. Okay. So, well, let's ask about the whole... How's Jessalyn's relationship with Clara? Okay. Maybe a little strained. How so? Jess used to call her Chairman Mom. Behind her back, of course. Jesus. My god, that's that's quite a thing to just leap to. Do you think Clara had anything to do with Jessalyn's going well, missing? Kinda... Yeah, it's a Do you nice, think Clara question, could have anything damn. to do with Jessalyn Sleep. going missing? I don't think Jess was afraid of Clara. But still, I can't say for sure. Okay, well, what about Colton? What do you think of Colton? What's to think? He's always been decent to me and Jess. Did you notice any secret passages or tunnels while you were at the house? No, but it was so drafty in there, it would surprise me if there weren't. Yeah, because socially, she just disappeared a couple times I in the house. I better get going. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so I have a feeling she had to have, like, found something. Well, let's talk to Savannah. Tell her that we got here, and we talked to everybody, and... Her lover Hi, boy is right in front of Did us. Did you get the package I left for you? Not yet. Ask around. It should be there by now. Okay. Uh, well, what have you been up to? What have you been up to since we spoke last? I've been teaching the road to know my wheels. Are you working on the next book? I've been running away from the next book. In an empty house that was filling up with chatty ghosts. But who knows? When I'm out of gas, maybe I'll have no choice but to listen to what they have to say. If they're interesting, I'll send you a gallery to proof. If they're not, guess I'll go teach. All right, so, well, that was the next book, so let's see. Do you know anything about the factory accident? Yeah. The whole, like, 100 years yeah. ago. Because she did all that reading, so I'm guessing she Do you know she anything something. about the factory accident? Nothing I can verify. It's been scratched out of the local history. When I was there, I expected to feel something when I stood near the old factory. And nothing? As many spirits as I expected. I only met one. Charlotte? That'd be the one. Dear sweet Charlotte, the terror of Black Rock Island. Okay. I spoke to Wade. Oh boy. I spoke to Wade. God damn it, Wade. I figured that might happen eventually. Can I explain, or are we beyond that? I'm sure you have your reasons. I do. Wade said he was expecting you. Why didn't you tell me that? I was going to come. I meant it when I told him I was coming. But then? But then I got scared. <laughs> yeah, what scared you, huh? What scared you away from taking the case? To be blunt, the living Thorntons are just as scary as the dead ones. Why? They've dug so many graves on that rock that death himself is on the Christmas card list. Oh, I can't help but wonder if they're misfortunate fools or just addicted to Sunday clothes and the sound of a spade taking a bite out of cold clay. Jeez. Okay. It's a very strange. I better get going. I guess there must maybe are southern things to say. I. Well, let's talk to Bess and George. Yeah. So now we're gonna talk to the buddies, our friends. B buddies. Buddies. Bess's phone. Oh, All right. Ned. Bonus Ned. What are you two <laughs> up to? George is in New York. So, she got the internship with that technology of tomorrow place? 
Yeah, Ned and I were just planning a road trip for when you're back. I was in the middle of trying to convince Ned to grow a bad mustache so we can hang out in Brooklyn. Not going to happen. Someone has to, Ned, and George already said no. It was a really angry no, too. Anyway, did you make it to the island? I did. I've been doing a little research, and I can see why Savannah sent you. Why is that? If I believed in ghosts, I wouldn't come within a few hundred miles of Black Rock Island. I can definitely see why. Even I have to admit it does have a certain abyss gaze is also into you vibe to it. Put that on a billboard. <laughs> I've got your back. I've been reading up on missing persons cases and hauntings. Really? Oh, that's great. I, on the other hand, have been watching videos of otters. So good at stacking <laughs> things. Additionally, I've kidnapped Ned. I've been so <laughs> bored since George left, and Ned's a very active listener. Mm-hmm. See? And he's also very quick to Stockholm. <laughs> Nickerson family trait. We like being liked. <laughs> oh, thanks, you two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you gotta love good old Ned. <laughs> uh, Let's do something strange about the disappearance. In which obviously Ned is her is her boyfriend for anyone who doesn't know. All Nancy's right. boy, Nancy's boyfriend. Yes. Yeah, Nancy's boyfriend, not Bess's boyfriend. And George is the lady, and that's why George was very upset about the mustache. About but... the mustache. <laughs> oh, but now you spoiled it. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway. So there's something strange about the disappearance. There's something strange about Jessalyn's disappearance. What's that? There's no ransom note. That does complicate things. But I've read that most missing person cases involve the immediate family. You're right. I guess the best move is to keep the family talking. Yeah. Maybe they'll let something slip. Or maybe they're trying to tell you something. How so? Remember in Kyoto, you told me that ghosts are what people invent when an injustice can't be fixed? Sounds me-ish. If that's the case here, once you figure out what the deal with the ghost is, I bet it'll point right to Jessalyn. And if the ghost is real, then case closed. A ghost did it. If that <laughs> turns out to be the case, please don't tell me. I like living in a world where ghosts are probably not real. I already have to fall into bed after every scary movie for fear of ankle grabbers. All right. We met Wade. Yeah, I met Wade. I met Wade. I still say giving your child a verb for a name dooms them to a life of hearing mediocre jokes. What's he like? He's got a bit of a rough edge. He seemed surprised that I came instead of Savannah. What do you mean? He wanted Savannah here, specifically. Why? I don't know, but I intend to find out. He wants more flirting. Yep. I guess we can catch him up on the case? Yeah, I don't know what that does. I don't know. I'm kinda scared to click it. <laughs> well, let's just go with the other options first. Okay. I met Jessalyn's mom. Poor her. Assuming she's innocent, what's your impression? She's reserved. Can't fault her for that, but it does make her hard to read. I've never been a mom, but I have owned my fair share of fish. And no way, <laughs> no <laughs> way anyone could take care of something and even think of... Nancy, it's too sad. Can't do it. <laughs> I owe it to Jessalyn to distrust everyone, even her. I know. This case is like a big, fat, tall cloud of sadness that's sitting in front of me and using its cell phone when it's not supposed to. We just got back from a pretty rowdy opening night screening of the relation me. shipwreck. It was really bad. All I want is to see the screen and to not deal with jerks, to have a movie-style romance, and for no one to get hurt ever. Find her, Nancy. I'll do my best. Okay. Promise. So people were on their phones during a movie. Yeah. All right, and so then we have Colton. I met Jessalyn's fiance, Colton. Where's he fall on the cute to guilty spectrum? Cute to guilty. That's not a valid spectrum. Like fun it isn't. Oh, is this because Ned is on the line? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not calling off the dogs. You're just going to have to find a way to tell me that balances the public's need to know with Ned's presumably fragile ego. My ego is perfectly fine. Is that so? Nickerson men laugh in the face of insecurity. <laughs> That's so, Nedder. Okay. A test. 
Nancy, describe Colton's looks using the International Ned Cuteness Unit. We talking half a Ned, two Neds? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Thank you. I don't you. do that. That good looking? Yikes. <laughs> That's not the important part. Right. Ticking clock, kidnapping, etc. How guilty does he seem? For consistency, please state your answers in Ned units. Couldn't tell you yet. He doesn't seem as worried as I'd expect, but maybe he's the type to internalize his feelings. Huh. So that's a thing you can do? The boyfriend <laughs> is statistically favored when it comes to crimes like this. Try to get him talking about the relationship. I studied that in preschool. Preschool? I, I don't know. What? Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think we've ever seen Ned. We've seen Bess and George, but I don't think we've ever seen Ned in the games. No, I, Ned has not shown up in the games yet. Bess and George and the Hardy brothers have both shown up, have all four shown up in games at one point or another, but Ned has not, not yet. Okay, well then, I guess we... I don't know if maybe they want to keep the image of Ned um, hidden, because like it Nancy. hits, yes, because they do the whole thing with Nancy so that the person playing feels like they are Nancy. Um, so maybe they don't want Ned to have appearance so that whoever is playing can feel like it's like their dream boyfriend. Okay. Kind of thing, maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong and they just never cared to have Ned on the show yet. Or on the game yet. Whatever you want to call it. I guess we can find out what this does. Sure. I want to catch you up on the case. So it's a missing persons case, right? Do you think she's actually missing? I don't know. I've heard of runaway brides, but I don't think that's the case. If it's a missing persons case, why aren't the police taking care of it? Well, they are, but since she's an adult, there's only so much they can do. Ned was telling me about the ghosts out there. Do you think maybe they're related? Actually, I believe in this ghost. Ned? Do I Wait, have permission to do a ghost? spit take in your living room? No. I'm doing it anyway. Say that again. Please don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down, Bess. The Nickersons are a tidy people. I wasn't really going to do it, guys. <laughs> Unless someone made me laugh. <laughs> and this is that super red soda that's still on the market even though it's been linked to distractibility in 9 out of 10 Besses. Back to you. Are you finally trading in your Skeptics Club card? And miss the dinner that probably won't happen this year? <laughs> no way. People here believe in the ghost. I think if I don't take the ghost story at least a little seriously, I might miss something. Smart. Well, I hope so. Okay, I guess okay. I'll... See you later. So so let's let's like a broad look at it then. Yeah. So let's okay. go back to... Hi there. Oh, no, now we have more stuff to ask him. Yeah, so we can ask said that... Yeah, Savannah saw the ghost. Like, even she said Savannah she saw the said ghost. Charlotte was supposedly a ghost. Huh, <laughs> not supposedly. In my experience, ghosts tend to be not real. Then consider yourself lucky. In my experience, of which I have significantly more, reality isn't that simple. Have you ever actually seen this ghost? This ghost was my cousin Charlotte, and yes, I saw her. I saw her grow up. I was here the night she died, and I've seen her since, much as I wish that wasn't true. I thought the Charlotte thing happened a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. Are we starting to confuse people? Yes, that's what it's... this is confusing now, because she died... I better get going. Bye. Hold before, on. Before uh, the 1900s. And I think we're thinking of the wrong... I think Charlotte is another... Is another person? Well, let's go check really quick and get this box. Yeah, where is this box? But let's look over here. Yeah. Oh, Sarah was the first one that died. Oh, so who's Charlotte? And they don't really... They haven't told us how she died either. Nancy. Um, I guess we can ask if there's anything else. Is there anything else yeah. I should know that might help me find Jessalyn? Yeah. 
Keep a suspicious eye on Wade. Wade didn't seem all that dangerous to me. He neglected to tell you about his time spent in jail, I see. As a matter of fact, Wade's a nice guy when he wants to be. And only when he wants to be. Well, I'm happy we have another case. set of eyes looking for Jesse. But I do hope you know what you're getting yourself into. Unless maybe he did tell us and we just missed it? I don't know. He didn't tell us anything. Um, so, yeah. Guess we can Everyone that. else seems to be avoiding the house. Why are you in here? You'll think I'm crazy. Not after the day I've had. Fair enough. I guess I, I want to be close to whatever it is that took Jessalyn. Okay. Interesting. Why can't I can't ask going. about... Bye. Is it this? I can't do that right now. Nope, it's not that. Where's the, the freaking... Is, will he give it to me? What's up? All right, so what do you think? What do you think happened to Jessalyn? Yeah, I'm trying to avoid thinking about it. I have a... My mind can get caught up in a real dark place. You know, when things around me get bad. What do you mean? Uh, ignore me. I've been up way too long. Okay, what about uh, Claire's past? Yeah. Do you know anything about Clara's past? No. It's funny you ask. Why is that? I could tell Jess had something to tell me about Clara. She'd get so close and just stop dead. She never told you anything? I know Clara's mom died when she was young. And she ended up living with her cousin's family. But that's it. Okay. Goodbye. Later. So we're definitely missing something there. Yeah, well, maybe we should call it. Mm, yeah. I'm just annoyed I can't find this package. Well, we can find it in the next episode. Is it that? Oh, okay, we can't click on that. Yeah, there's like... Maybe it's over there and we just can't... Oh. Well, we can't see it. Never mind. So maybe that's can't. not even it. Yeah, I don't... Okay. We'll probably take a little bit to try to figure out where this package is that we're supposed to be picking up. Um, and we will be back once we find it. Yep. So until next time. Later.